Hi guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. Look, some aircraft, like the 737 Classic, when you hit the approach mode, it will actually capture the glide slope, even if the localizer is not captured. Now on the NG, they fixed this because it won't actually capture the glide slope unless the localizer is first captured. Same thing on the 320, when you hit the approach mode, it'll first capture the localizer, then it'll capture the glide slope. And for that reason, those of you that fly the 737 Classic, you're gonna hear a lot of instructors telling you to hit the Vorlook button first to ensure we get localizer capture. That's your azimuth path, right? Make sure we're on a public segment of the approach and then they will have you go over to arming the approach on the 737 classic but most other model models of aircraft more modern aircraft the ng the a320 as we like to train here at one step prep will actually capture the loke first then the glide slope it will not do the opposite and of course this is of prime importance really if we're imc if we're vmc not as big of a deal but of course if we're imc we want to be sure we're always on a published segment before we initiate a descent down towards the runway look if you want to do a one hour ground school with myself or with Juan every month throughout this quarantine. Not only that, but you want 20 plus hours of video with myself and Juan, the JJ all day here live from the 305 in Miami. Please go to onestepprep.com, enroll in the program. You're going to get my type ready playbook to success free of charge. That's a four hour video program with audio that you can download, keep forever and a 60 page easy read ebook. I want you to have it free of charge. Go grab it. Go get on the program. Go into the live ground schools with us and we can't wait to work with you. Hope you found value in the video. We'll see you in the next one.